This feels a little bit more awkward than I thought it would. If I move to the right, it becomes very questionable. Yeah, I'm gonna, uh, hey, sorry, Brandon. I'm just gonna, yeah, no, it's okay. Yeah, this is good. A little bit farther, please. A little more. That good? Yeah, okay, that's fine. All right, bye. I guess he wanted to leave. Yeah, I ain't, I ain't. Nah, no thank you. I think I'm okay. I think we're fine. All right, let's go and get started with the video, shall we? Are we good? I think we're fine. All right, sounds good. Let's go and get started. Today, three, two, and one. Yo, what's going on, everybody? My name is Pizza Editor Brennan. Portrait mode, everything right now. Hopefully, you all are having a wonderful day. I'm having a pretty decent day myself. Thank you all for tuning into the video. I do apologize that, uh, you know, my uploading schedule's been a little bit off. I do have a... I could blame it on the dog, but... Uh, I'm not going to. It's just been my fault. Anyways, hope you all are having a great day. Uh, we have a really well-structured video today because I did a little bit of research uh, off-camera, listened to some of you guys in the chat, and uh, I actually came up with a couple ideas myself because I was looking around some items that I had. And by the way, we had everybody else saying hello to YouTube, although Twitch isn't too happy today with YouTube, by the way. So we got a few people saying hello, but not too many because I, I had to change... I wanted to change my face cam to a portrait mode which I fixed this, by the way, too. Like I said, I, I can uh, readjust the, the feathering and everything. Like, I can create different scenes with my face cam now because I changed the way how I'm doing it. So, it looks good again. Um, but these people might be a little bit mad at YouTube because they preferred it when the webcam was like this. Widescreen. And I'm going to try it out. Uh, you know, I'm going to probably go back and forth. But I'm trying out portrait mode this time around. Let me know how you like it. I think it's more YouTube-esque, and I think, I don't know, it captures my profile a little bit better rather than just, like... Because I, I like having this, but at the same time, over here, there's a lot of just... nothing doesn't need to be here. Like, this doesn't need... It, it's... It's all personal preference. I do love this. That's why I've rocked it for so long. Uh, but we're giving this a try. This one, a little bit. The feathering just looks... I love the feathering. Ever since I found out how to do it, it's been freaking awesome. Also, very... Uh, thank you very much, Twitch, for streams. Thank you for the Tier 1 for three months... Uh, face cam is kind of lit. Now I'm going to enjoy my silver pizza. Thank you. DJ Sarah too. Thank you as well for the team for six months. Enjoy your gold pizza. Yeah, Twitch for streams. Get wrecked. Uh, hi, Brian. Can't watch stream today. I have a grumpy one-year-old. Aw. Best of luck to the one-year-old. Hope it's doing fine. Thank you very much for the sub, though. I appreciate it. So today, I did a little bit of uh, off-camera preparation because as you guys may or, not, uh, may or may not have seen yesterday, uh, legendaries became a thing on here. Now, I am not going to be doing that because Zapdos is pretty cool, but at the same time, I think it's already been caught by two people, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if that's the case or not, uh, but the 64 Glowstone was just not... I, I don't know. I don't really know about it. I didn't think it was that big of a priority, and I'd rather focus on my team. And I was thinking, because we made a rule, uh, there's a little bit of official rules for the Generation 3 tournament that I can go ahead and read out to you guys right here. So for the Gen 3 tournament, uh, you can bring up to a maximum of 12 Pokemon, as you usually could. Uh, same rules apply that you have to have three or more Generation 3 Pokemon in your team active at all times. So you can bring 9 Gen 1 and Gen 2s, but you have to continuously use those three Gen 3s. Otherwise, uh, Generation 1 and 2 are allowed. Uh, if anybody brings back Cloyster, including myself, I'm probably going to rage a little bit. I doubt I'll bring him back because I, I think everybody's probably going to try and counter him in some way or another. And the fact that I realized that I could have countered him in that first fight lets me know that he's not the most reliable if, as long as you can get a good swing on him. Uh, plus spikes kind of, you know, negate the whole... Because there's the... Uh, whatever the scarf is that allows you to withstand a knockout hit, that's only if you have full uh, health. So if I lay down spikes, that should negate anybody who has that. So I think... Uh, I'm pretty sure Lachlan used that on Lake. I'm pretty sure. Because I heard Lake had a full team of like the... Uh, whatever the scarf's called, I believe. And then Lachlan laid down spikes. And uh, if you guys don't know, the scarf doesn't protect you unless you're at full health. A focus Sash. No, sorry. Focus Sash, not Scarf. Focus Sash. That's the one. Um, focus Scarf. Yeah, uh, Focus Scarf. I was thinking of Choice Scarf. Choice Scarf's the one that uh, boosts your speed by 50%, but you can only use one move. Hash Browns. Let's just call it a Hash Brown, shall we? So today, uh, you know, with that whole thing being said, I was thinking, well, I'm probably not going to be rocking a Legendary because Zapdos is cool, but at the same time, I'd rather have a little bit more of a diverse team. And Zapdos, like I said, is very cool. And I thought to myself, because the other rule over here is um, one Mega or Legendary will be allowed per team. This means either or, not both. 
So if anybody wants to rock a legendary on their team, they're not allowed a mega. And megas are here on the server now, and you can get mega uh, evolution, Eevee lights or whatever. Not Eevee lights. And we have three. We have three. We have an Aerodactylite. A Banatite, I don't know what Pokemon, uh, or what generation this Pokemon is. I don't believe it's one that we currently have. And it's a Tyrannosaurite. Now, I already had a very long discussion, uh, with my Discord, which has a good amount of, you know, people who know what they're talking about about Pokemon. And, uh, we basically had the option of either getting a Mega Aerodactyl or a Mega Tyranitar. Mega Aerodactyl is who we're going to be going for. Because this guy, how it works with Mega Evolution, so I've been told, is they have a priority. So you equip it as an item, and then when your moves are both locked in, you'll evolve into a Mega before any other moves can happen. I believe also before um, also before any priority moves like Ice Shard, uh, Quick Attack, Extreme Speed, etc. You will evolve into a Mega first. Aerodactylite has a base speed of 150 150 base speed at his Mega. He is a glass cannon. Not like a glass cannon, because he can probably still... He can probably still withstand like a hit or two, right? Benet is Gen 3. Is it actually? Also, by the way... uh, Oh, is it Gen 3? I never even looked up that Pokemon. Let's see whether or not I'm going to completely regret everything right now. Let's look up Benet and see how good the stats are. Shall we? Let's see. Is that how you pronounce it? That's not how you pronounce it. How do you pronounce the Pokemon? Or how do you spell the Pokemon, rather? Uh, Smogon. Let me see here. Banette, XY. What kind of Pokemon is this? I have not actually even looked into it because I just assumed this thing was not even Gen 3. Let's take a look and see whether or not uh, this is a good Pokemon. And the website's not loaded for some reason. Regardless, though. Regardless. Aerodactyl at standard has 130 base speed. That's the same speed as my Crobat. He is one of the fastest Pokemon, especially with Megas that there is in the entire server. Um, oh, it... Pfft. Oh, I just looked at the Mega, and holy crap, that's an interesting Pokemon. Pretty standard uh, everything, except for 165 base attack. That's not bad, but it's definitely not the best, because the 75 speed is kind of like... Yeah, for the most part. It's not really what we want to rock because we can only rock one Mega uh, on the team's 165 base. Jesus. That's really good. I mean, for the attack, right? But Mega Aerodactyl, on the other hand of it, is just, like, so much better. Also, 420s in chat. Uh, Science Media are going for Mega Metagross. That'll be fun. Uh, so we're going to be getting a uh, an Aerodactyl today with speed because we want to rock basically the fastest Pokemon we can. Now, this isn't saying that we're going to rock all fast setups because I do want to get a few slow Pokemon. Because I know Lake uh, last tournament, I didn't get to fight him, but I heard the tales that he was rocking Trick Room. And I don't know whether or not other people are going to be rocking Trick Room, but that's the one where for five moves, uh, the slower Pokemon will actually move first. So if he actually does do that... We're going to be in for a little bit of a pickle if we want to rock, you know, Mega Aerodactylite. Mega Aerodactyl. Um, but we're going to try and get that right now. I did a little bit of off-camera work, hardly anything, just mining, uh, in preparation for making it. Because we need to make a Fossil Cleaner, as well as a Fossil Machine. Make a Fossil Cleaner. So I six aluminum plates, two redstone, and glass paint. It's not too bad. And then a Fossil Machine, that was the thing that's a little bit more interesting. Um, fossil Machine top. Uh, display, base, and tank. And then also, I didn't even mention, but uh, where's the page that I actually have the Mega Aerodactylite on? I believe it's actually... Where's the Mega Aerodactyl? Yeah, it's this one over here. So Mega Aerodactyl has the ability Tough Claws as well too, which contact attacks do 1.3 times damage. And his base attack is 135. He's really freaking good. So we're going to be using Mega Aerodactyl um, without a doubt. Hopefully you guys are cool with that. I... There's no really, uh, there's not a better way of doing it. So, Fossil Machine top is five aluminum plates and one redstone. Easy game. Uh, Fossil Machine base, only six aluminum. Not too bad. Did I say aluminum or whatever? Uh, aluminum plates, yeah. The display is four redstone and obsidian. I might have eight obsidian. And then the, uh, Fossil Machine tank is six glass panes and some water. We might have to go smelting up a little bit of sand if we wanted to. But we've got a good amount of, uh, materials right here if we wanted to actually rock it. we got the obsidian, iron ingots, redstone, glass panes, and aluminum ingots. I believe I can take all of the iron and turn it into... Yeah, I can turn it into buckets. So if we want to... 
I'm going to hold off on doing that. I think until last because the first thing we want to do is make the fossil cleaner. What I am going to go ahead and do real quick here is I'm going to find... <sighs> Question, guys. I want to make a, a hammer really fast here. Sounds cool, Pete. Thanks, manual. Appreciate it, man. Aluminum, goddamn, Pete. Did I say something else? Aluminium. Mega Absol isn't that good. Make a Pokemon cloning machine for banter. It would scare people. Huh. Does the cam look weird? I mean, you don't have to insult me like that if you don't want to. Um, it's a little bit of a different camera setup. What should I use over here? I mean, we don't have we don't have the ability to make diamond because we need five diamonds for that. We only have two. We would need three. Uh, you have a Mega Blastoise stone. Wait, do I actually somewhere? I I wouldn't use it regardless because I do want to rock. Uh, Oh, wait a minute. I think you're actually right. Wait, where's my Blastoise stone? I do have that somewhere, don't I? What did I do with it? Is it in here? Oh, it's right here. I actually do have a Blastoise tonight. Interesting. So if I want to rock him, I also could. But that's a little bit more difficult to get, I would say. So I think we're still going to rock Aerodactylite. Even though this one... This is an old texture one, huh? Or something? Because this one's, like, really chunky, and all these are very smooth and beautiful. A bit strange. Interesting. Wasn't that the first stone you got? You're actually, uh, you're not wrong. Oh, also, the orb. Uh, like I said, I didn't post the video from yesterday, uh, while the stream's going on right now. So, I do have another orb. I did kill a Dragonite that hopped over to spawn. So, if we wanted to get a legendary, we could. Or go for another, uh, life orb, which we probably will do another life orb or something. Uh, but we do have another one of those. We want to rock it. Uh, but let's go ahead and make a, uh, probably Ruby, I would think, right? I'm just going to make like a root. Actually, I think Sapphire. I don't think there's a difference between them. I think it's all pretty much the same in terms of speed. Because uh, we're going to go enchant it really fast right now. So Sapphire, uh, we'll go and use up. Uh, actually, so I want to make it blue. I think I'm going to rock uh, Amethyst because purple looks cool. And at the same time, uh, I do want to keep, like, a good amount of these items on here. I don't think you can make a silicon one. I'm not sure. But I also have an Amethyst Axe. So what I'm going to do, uh, first things first, I'm going to go up here because my FPS is nothing. Because there is currently how many Pokemon above me? A lot. Let's do a quick little shiny sweep over here. Uh, also see if there's any, uh, not Salamence. That's the uh, Flying Dragon Pokemon. Whatever the one that we found before that was, like, really beautiful looking. Beautiful looking is such a redundant phrase. Beautiful looking. You don't need to say looking. It's not a... You don't have to do that. I thought that was some weird mutate... Anybody else think that? I swear to God, I thought it had, like... Like, weird tentacles growing out of its butt. That was a bit strange. Yeah, that, that was... That kind of freaked me out a little bit. Don't think there's any shiny right now. Milotic? Yeah. Or Milotic. Whatever. Uh, Ruby and Sapphire are the Gen 3 games. Hey, there you go. There you go. That works, I guess. Gen 3, Ruben, Sapphire. Well, you know what? I don't feel too bad doing it. All right, I don't think there's any Pokemon around here that we need to be catching. Uh, we got a fully evolved one of you guys over there. Very, very cute. All right, let's go ahead and hop back over to spawn. I'm going to go fly over to Kenny's place because I do want to use his enchantment table. I don't think he cares. I mean, we kind of did for the pickaxe. I really don't think the guy would be bothered, and I can't really ask him because you understand the whole deal. A shiny slime. Yeah, that's me. All right, uh, Amethyst Hammer and the Lapis. That would give it Unbrit. Uh... Uh, 54. All right, sweet. I don't think there's another, uh, I don't think there's another enchant that you can get. Is there another enchant that you can get? Uh, Opie, apparently your Milotic has its hidden ability. Might want to breed. Wait, it does? Marvel scale. Boost the defense stat if the Pokemon has a status condition. Milotic. No way it does. No, the hidden ability is Cute Charm. Almost got me freaked out right there. Uh, cute Charm is the ability that causes co uh, contact moves against the Pokemon to have a 30% chance of making the aggressor infatuated at uh, the Pokemon with Cute Charm and the aggressor of opposing genders. Okay, just so making sure. Silk Touch, 55 is so nice on hammers, though. I mean, we kind of... We could make it. We could make another one, actually. Because we could make a... Yeah, we could easily make it a 55, too. Why don't we do that real fast, actually? Because it'll save us a little bit of time, because we do need to go chunking out a little bit of uh, aluminum or aluminium uh, really fast here. So let's go ahead and get uh, another one of you set up right there. So we got you. Can we somehow, somehow get a fish C5 or a fish C4 on this one? Because that would be really nice if we can handle these two together and get some levels. Because we do need to, uh, we still got 38 levels. 
We don't really have a lot to enchant right now. What can we get on you? Does that work? Plus, Stevens is not a bad ability, too. Yeah, it's not too bad. You haven't spent much time in the Coltega. You should go there and look for new Pokemon. Is this even, was this even going to do anything? Just try. Like, I hammer down one piece and it magically splits itself into two like I did with my face cam earlier. No idea. Just do it. I mean, I guess. <laughs> Surely not, but, I mean... Waterstone armor? Yeah, I need to, uh, I need to get Waterstone armor. Um, 11 levels. 23. Uh. I hope to God someone gets that reference. I'm not gonna say, I'm not gonna... Does anyone get the reference? Does anyone get the reference? Please tell me someone does. I'm just looking for a reaction in my chat right now. You're all a bunch of uncultured swine. Clang, clang, Maxwell. Hey, Kenneth got it. Beatles, yeah. Clang, clang, Maxwell, silver hammer came down upon a head. Do, 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 do. Clang, clang, Maxwell, silver hammer made sure that she was dead. Do, do. It's actually a really dark song, but it's from the Beatles, and it's freaking. I love it so much. Anyways. And the thing goes scrrr. Well, that was fast. I would say the 55 was probably really nice, and the fortune didn't do anything, unfortunately. A uh, 140 durability on that one, which sort of makes sense, I guess. That's actually a perfect durability loss right there. Uh, so this thing's going to be pretty nice, and it'll be able to uh, go from there. Let me hear you! There you go. Hey! All right, so we got some aluminum plates, redstone, uh, iron ingots as well. So let's go ahead and get working on this then. So Fossil Machine. Also, one thing that I realized too, or got told, is that uh, Fortune 3 actually works with getting fossils, believe it or not. So that's pretty sick. In the meantime, Cypher775, thank you for the tier 2. Brand new sub. Thank you very much, my man. Must love Welcome to Graduation Nation. This one's on you. I actually, I got a, uh, a mini fridge from my office, which is freaking sick. So we have... Cool hydration now. It's sweet. And it messes with my enamel because I don't have very good enamel on my teeth. Oh, it sounds so good. Sounds. Yeah, I'm not very good at, uh, that's a weakness that I've heard, huh? Probably. You're cool. Thanks, man. <laughs> Appreciate it. Or I'm not. And it's just sarcasm. But thank you regardless. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna analyze it. If you think I'm cool, then I appreciate that. Uh we also got a flower here. Flowers have no place underwater. Only algae. Uh anyway, so what we're gonna go ahead and do in that case then, uh now that we've got all of those, I guess uh game plan is to get a fossil cleaner made. So we need six aluminum plates, two redstone, and one glass for that. So we'll take the glass out here and the redstone as well, and the aluminum plates. Probably want So how many how many <sighs> don't overhydrate, Brandon? Don't want to. That was bad last time. So we need a total of five 
We need 11 to make a fossil machine. Okay, so we need 11. Uh, you waste so much plastic with the bottles. Uh, yeah, I know. I want to swap out of it, but for the meantime, like, eh, it's just kind of my solution. I really do need to get out of the habit of drinking from water bottles. I will admit that. It's not the best. I'm not going to sit here being like, yeah, I'm correct. Uh, yes, fossil machine bases, uh, and then the glass pane, and the two redstone over there. So that's one cleaner. Uh, second cleaner. Let's go ahead and set up. I think we probably want to do... How many... Do we have enough for this? And then... So we need 11 for one of the... Okay, so let's make three more. So we have four fossil cleaners in total, which is good. And then we'll have enough for three fossil machines. So then we'll go ahead and set up the fossils over here. Probably would be a good idea. So let's do... Let's do, let's do, let's do something like... Oh, this would be perfect. One, two, three, four. I don't know whether or not making a, a multitude of this thing um, would be a good idea. Just got here, why new face cam look? Change is good. Keeps everybody on their toes. If you do the same thing over and over again, it gets stale eventually. Unless you're incredibly good at doing it and somehow everybody just loves it. Change is always good, even the most subtle things. I, I, we'll try it out. I don't know. I think it looks good. So now from here, what we want to do is uh, we're going to need to get some... So if we need three of these, then if we're going to make it three, we need 18 glass panes and nine water buckets, which is 27 iron. So we'll go ahead and make, I guess, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight water buckets. Okay. Let's go up here and do that. And then we're going to need to go over to, uh, that was hard. Uh, we're going to need to go over to the desert as well to get some sand real quick. Not too much of it though. Checking around. Why does that clam make me think that it's shiny? Is that a shiny clam over there? Why do I feel like it is? No, it's not. Clam over there is the same color. I just want to keep doing, uh, you know, shiny checks because we live in an ocean. If we're going to find a shiny, I feel like I'm overdue for a shiny. It's been a whole episode and I haven't found one yet. It's kind of disgusting in all honesty. If I'm going to find a shiny, it's going to be living here. I think one of the differences between the amount of shinies I have compared to other people in the server is that I actually look for them quite often because of where I live, just naturally, you know what I'm saying? Uh, that thing always makes me think it's like a shiny, uh, Dratini or something. It's not, and that pisses me off. All right, we're fine. Uh, yeah, let's go over to... Why are you up so high? Jesus, man. There's a non-shiny crawdunt. Is that the name for it? Crawdunt or whatever? Uh, but let's go ahead and go over here and just mine up some sand real fast. And we'll be able to get some, uh, glass panes, because I don't think that I have enough. I think I've only got, like, nine. We're gonna need 18. So we'll get some fossils as well, too. And uh, to everybody saying, you know, oh, Pete, hey, you missed the fossil, by the way. There's two literally right there. There's another one right there. We're going to find a really good amount of them. I think it's the amber or ember fossils. One of those two is the one that's an aerodactyl. And we either want jolly, which I believe is the one that gives you uh, low special attack and high speed. Or we want adamant uh, for aerodactyl because he has a high base attack. And high base speed. I should say disgustingly high speed. Not even. Yeah, it's, it's just ridiculous. But we probably want strength for Jolly though. So, um, old Amber, is that it? Yeah, old Amber. That's the one. Amber Fossil? Yeah, okay. So, I kind of know what I'm doing right now. We pretty much have a, a set game. Also, one thing too. Uh, I'll show you guys in just a second. I'm just going to go ahead and mine out this last little bit of sand here. Uh, so, we've got enough. I did something that I think you guys might be very, very happy about because... It's like keeping my chest organized, okay? I've actually done a pretty good job of keeping them organized. They're not the best, you know, but with uh, the item inventory sorter or whatever that is, I'd say I did a pretty decent job so far. Uh, but the one thing about Pitzelmon that isn't in vanilla Minecraft is box number one, box number two, box three, box four, box five, box 30, shinies. Box 29 for the future gens. Box 28 for good gen Pokemon for teams. And that's it. Cleaned out my PC. So this is going to be really, really nice. Because if I keep box 1 full, any Pokemon that I get, I can just check right here. And I know that they're there. And any Pokemon that I don't want, I'm just going to discard. I need to get into the habit right now that as much as I want to be collecting Pokemon, if we're over here in a tournament style thing, I don't want to miss any Pokemon. I don't want to think, oh yeah, that's my Snorlax. That's the one that, that has Crunch totally. <laughs> uh, could have won that tournament still a little bit upset about that 
I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It was fun. Third place is actually a lot better than I thought I would do. I thought it was a different Pokemon for a second. Anyway, let's go and get the glass uh, smelted up, or the sand smelted up, rather. Uh, also, on that topic, a couple of people kind of got mad that I uh, titled the video I Evolved My Shiny Dragonite instead of I Evolved My Shiny Dragonair, assuming that Dragonite could evolve into something else because I used the wrong terminology on that title. I understand, but you have to you have to remember the, the tag Dragonite in a title is just a little bit more alluring than a Dragonair. Although it might be stupid. And if I don't get many views on that video, then I'm an idiot. Uh, and let's be honest, I don't clickbait much anymore. But sometimes you just need to kind of, you need to sprinkle a little bit of sugar on the on the cake, you know? That's just kind of what I'm getting at right now. So, glass paints. I think we should already be able to make some. So I'm pretty sure it should have already uh, cooked a couple up right now. Yeah, three and then four. All right, perfect. So we got four from you, and four from you, and then four from you. That should pretty much already do it. It was past tense, yeah, it, exactly. Like, I'm evolving, or no, like, I evolved. Wait, no, I wouldn't even, no, no, no. That's what I said. It should have been Dragonite no matter what. I evolved into a shiny Dragonite. That, that could have worked as well. You get the point, all right. Anyways, let's go ahead and make the glass paints arrive from here. So we do have enough, perfect. Water bucket, water bucket, and water bucket. Fossil machine tank. I like how it just looks like a genuine stream of water, even though it's actually not at all. Uh, two of those, thank God those stack. I was really hoping they would. And the third one. There we go. So we have three of these bad boys over there. You're going to put those away. And then uh, the display is four redstone around an obsidian. So three there. And then one, two, three. So we have three displays. Beautiful. And then the fossil machine top is three more redstone surrounded by aluminum plates. So we'll grab one, two, three. Don't want to overmake any. Perfect. And then the actual base is just six aluminum. And uh, we have a perfect amount. Awesome. So we're going to have enough for three fossil machines. Uh, that's sweet, man. All right. Fossil machine top, the base, the tank, and then the... Oh, wait. No. Wait. How do you do it? Is it right there? Oh, it's to the side. Okay. It's so fossil machine right there. I had it right the first time, man. Got to go with the gut instincts. They take up one block from what I've heard. There we go. All right. So let's get started, I guess. Yeah, it's, it's pretty much a game of just finding fossils. I don't think there's anything else. Given how they work, I don't think I need to hatch anything. Like, it doesn't... It doesn't just, you know, go from a fossil to an egg. That would be kind of weird. Uh, although, I think... Correct me if I'm wrong. You can breed Aerodactyls, right? Or are... Is the breeding... Is the breeding non-existent because it's a fossil Pokemon? Can you not breed fossil Pokemon? Or can you, anyway? You can find Mewtwo. Go find Mewtwo. Why am I trying to find Mewtwo? I wouldn't be able to kill Mewtwo anyway. Are you kidding? You would need like... Oh, also, fossils do... Cover fossil. Apparently, the fortune works with fossils. So, I don't know whether or not they do or not. If they're male and female. Yeah, okay, cool. Oh, wait, do they actually? No, they don't give me one still. Now, where is the other one around from here? Oh, yeah, here's the two. I have to go back to home in a second. I don't want to drown. Oh, no, it's giving me multiple. At least it looks like it's giving me multiple. Can we mine this before we drown? Uh, hold on, wait. No, it couldn't give me air. Damn it. I'm not gonna drown today. I might drown today. No, I drowned. God damn it. <laughs> it's fine. All right. Slash home. So we got how many fossils do we get from there? So we got two. Okay, so. Oh, wait a second. Yo, guys, which is the Aerodactyl fossil? Which one? Which one is it? You don't have it. It's going to be a grind to actually get it. None of them. What does it look like? Covered fossil. All right. Name me a number in chat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Which one of these is the Aerodactyl one? One, two, three, four. Oh, wait, hold on. Shit. I'm covering, uh... Ah! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Which one is it? You have to clean them first, I think. Do we know if it would just turn into that? Or if it ha is a specific one? Everybody's saying three. Everybody's saying three. So, this one. Covered fossil two. Oh, that's funny. It's actually the yeah two. Um, apparently this is the one. So to say, 
That's what chat's telling me. I love when chat's random numbers. One of them. Yeah, probably. The majority of chat's saying three right now, so if I was to believe chat at all, that would be the one. So it's the one that looks like a bright egg. I'm gonna put these in anyway, I think. I'm gonna put that one in anyway. I'm gonna put that one in, and I'm gonna put this one in. Just to kind of see what they would turn out to be, because I don't... If they are gonna be like a standard or whatever, uh, these are cleaning the fossils themselves, and then it's gonna take a while. It does look like... Where is it? Claw fossil, uh, plume, helix, dome, root, claw, skull. Uh, wait. Almanite. Probably two. Which one of these is the... It is old amber. It doesn't have fossil in its name. Oh, shit. Oh, this thing. Aerodactyl. Oh, that is it, huh? Because it looks like... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Covered fossil. That looks like... Well, you guys can't see it, but you saw what it was. It looks like the amber. Old amber. Okay, so probably not... Are they already done? That fast? That fast. Already done. We got an almanite, we got a lily, and we got an an anerith. Fascinating. So they are... So it is... Okay. All right, you guys know what I'm trying to say. That's cool. That's cool. All right, so what we want to do in that case then is let's get a lot of doors because we are going to need to stay underneath the uh, ocean floor for a little while. Uh, unfortunately, I do not have any better way to look underneath the water since with my gamma and everything, it kind of makes it obstructed, which sucks. Uh, but I think it'll be all right. Praise Lord Helix! Also, hopefully there are no shines above me. I probably... I probably killed sh so many shinies just by doing that. Like, letting them spawn above me and then just having them die by TPing away. I've probably done that. Yeah, but we got a few more fossils around here. So, we'll keep an eye out for that one and hope we get a fortune. Ocean man, take me by the hand, lead me to the land that you understand. Ocean man. What's it? Voyage to... No, what is it? Let What's the lyrics? To the globe is a real trip. Ocean man. What is it? I can't remember. So these are all the... Uh, is it more difficult to get Aerodactyl between uh, like than any else? Any of the other ones? I feel like it would be. Ocean Avenue. There's a place of Ocean Avenue. Oh no. Oh guys, Terry hates me. I'm sorry. Chat reminded me of it. I didn't even say it. Kara, or chat, Kara hates your guts. She actually wishes all of you get sick for 16 hours. It's disgusting. I, I really need to tell her to relax a little bit. Do we get one? Hey, we got one. We got our boy. Sweet. So we actually know what it's like and we got one. Cool. All right. I was really hoping that we'd find one eventually. I mean, like, okay. Impatient YouTuber impatience is kicking in. I was talking about I was hoping we would find one soon so I could at least feel like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Whoa, that's kind of harsh. I don't know, man. It's just her. She didn't actually say that. She said she's an angel. She would never wish it. She would never she would never wish uh ill will on anybody. Especially people she doesn't know. Ba uh, Bellamy, I was gonna say Baxter. Uh, Bax is my old dog. Bellamy is in the, uh, he, he's sick right now, unfortunately. Um, he's got a pretty nasty stomach bug, and he's had diarrhea for about four days now, which, it's not been fun. It, it was just, like, really watery diarrhea for the first, mind me, uh, for the first couple of days, and then it started, like, I don't know, it was a little orange, and then there was a little bit of blood. But now he's better. He's a little bit better today, so we're keeping an eye on it. Uh, we already took him to the vet on first day, and they just told us, like, you know, Keep an eye out for anything real suspicious, you know, like a lot of blood, or if it lasts longer than a week. So we're you know, we're keeping an eye on them. I hate it so much because like he doesn't, you know, he just doesn't deserve it, man. We also got two different kinds of fossils from that. I didn't know you could do that. That's pretty cool. He, Bellamy doesn't deserve it, man. He already like listen. TMI about doggo poo. Eh, who cares? If you if you're gonna have a dog, you're gonna you're gonna know everything about poop and like. A month or two. Um, but I mean, Bellamy already had worms at one point in his life. Like, why does he need to have this now, right? He's so young. He needs to stop getting ill, man. 
I just want to feel better. It sucks seeing him like that. And I mean, thankfully, we don't think it's anything serious because, you know, we were told, keep an eye out for fever. Keep an eye out for fatigue, uh, dehydration. He is a little dehydrated. Uh, he hasn't been taking my advice. Fucking guy. Um, but we were just told, you know, keep an eye out whether or not he's, you know, he's got a fever. He's not eating. Uh, he doesn't play well. Like, he's not his usual jolly, happy self. Uh, but he's he's perfectly normal aside from... Uh, every we got three we got three we got a fortune on that one so we got two aerodactyls from one all right sweet so that's our three fossil machines right there i don't know how long a fossil machine takes but i say let's go back home sometimes having a lot of uh gi parasites can make their tummies more sensitive later on <sighs> yeah it was actually um it was kind of cool because uh, yesterday Kara and I uh, prepared like a uh, some chicken and rice for him. We spent about like 50 minutes cooking up some chicken and rice for the dog, and uh, he he enjoyed it so much because chicken and white rice. Um, people will say brown, some people will say white. I'm pretty sure it's white, uh, even though uh, my sister says that it's brown rice is preferred. It's kind of up in the air which one you want to do. They're both okay. Uh, help out with diarrhea because they all bunch all that up together uh, or some they do something or whatever. Uh, place the door on the fossil, then it auto breaks. Really? That's kind of cool. All right. Insert fossil, insert fossil, and insert fossil. So we got three fossils working up right now. It looks like the tick rate is random. That's just a little bit of lag. They're both going up relatively. Yo, guys, hear this. Hear this. Listen to this white noise. It's like what my microphone sounded like before I got the compressor. <laughs> and now we play the waiting game. Exactly, huh? Sister WTF. Well, with sister, my brother got married. So, not by blood. She's not my sister by blood, but she's my sister. And I I have nothing else to call her. I, can't, I don't want to be as... Uh, you know, uh, be a jerk and be like, oh yeah, my brother's wife. I don't really know about that one. Uh, keep moving for one minute to make progress toward your standing goal. I have an Apple Watch now and it tells me to... It doesn't know that I stream every here and there sometimes, so... Sister-in-law? Okay, fine. Fine. Just waiting for a shiny to pop up in the tank. I would cry. It's so tiny! It's gone! I just watched it disappear. All right, anyway, this thing's telling me to keep moving for one minute to make progress towards standing goal. All right. Hold on, it's probably. Place off Ocean Avenue, where I used to sit and talk with you. We were both 16, it felt so right. We've been all day sitting on phone. Nah, nah, it's a good, good, good shit. Staying up all night. If I could find you now, this would get better. We would lay this down and run forever. Cause I know somewhere, somehow, we'll be together. That you Waves crash down on me and take me away. It's actually such a weird analogy when you think of it. Metaphor, analogy. Let your waves crash down and take me away. That's so weird thinking about it. Alright, I gotta keep going. It's just so, I don't... See, now I'm walking around, like, thinking about this. What does that mean? Is that a euphemism? Is that sexual euphemism? Is that what that is? Or do we are we talking about Are we talking about literally being in the ocean? I don't know. It's a bit strange. Also, this is not enjoyable, by the way. This is not enjoyable. Let me go say hi to people. Yeah, Level fifty nine, what a banger. I will try my he, best. He's not he's not cooperating, so uh... Oh no. Let your waves crash down on me. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Thoughts of a drowned man. <laughs> it wasn't fun. It's at the bottom of the ocean. It's pretty long. How did you drown? Fossil hunting. What? <laughs> oh, fossil hunting. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yo, Pete, how'd you drown? I already got over this once. He bad <laughs> oh. times again. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Uh, insult to injury, dude. I, I mean, do you want my glitch? I can't drown right now. I literally can't drown as much as I try. Really? Yeah. Teach me. <laughs> I wish I knew. <laughs> Yo, chance of me catching this meta gross are actually ridiculously I, low, aren't they? It's. I think it has the same catch rate as Legendary. Yeah, it's like oh my gosh. gosh. Oh, Master Ball for the boys? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Uh, just, Actually, like, you could, kind of but like, at the chance that it would have a bad nature, I know you'd never forgive yourself. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah no, you're 100. percent Wait, you just have a spare master ball, dude? Yeah, man. That's how we what? ball out. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm how? Just... Is there is there something I'm missing? All right, so we're good. Ding, ding, ding. So some level balls in there. Ding, ding. And ding. We have three Aerodactyls. Premier Ball. Oh, shit. You're right. Okay, I hope these guys are bad nature, in all honesty. All right. This is, like, the most dedicated, like, I've ever been to catching a Pokemon before. And it's so weird. But I'm going to be really upset if they don't have... Okay. Ivy's one. Eh. Not a great attack. Decent speed. Ivy's two. Not great. Ivy's... Uh, also, we can't breed them. They're all male. Ivy's three. Full attack. Pretty goddamn good speed. We want it to be three. We want it to be three. Bashful. Modest. That's terrible. Oh. This one's actually pretty good. It's not low special. It's not adamant. But this one is full attack, 31 IVs. This is a killer. It's not going to be good with speed. Like, it, it's not the fastest Pokemon. But this is actually not too bad. Really? Does ability matter for him? No, they... Wait. Oh, well, no, this won't matter. Um, Because when he turns into Mega, he's going to have... Um, what's it called? He's going to have whatever the one is that makes him a heavy hitter. Where things uh, deal 1.3 times damage. So... That's actually not too bad. That's actually not too bad. Luminator, I'm not sure why you can't use Emo, so I apologize. You want the fastest though. Yeah, you're not wrong, but like still full this thing right here, Ivy's three, 31 attack. 31 attack. And lonely nature. What's his defense when he's a mega? Let me look up uh where is his defense when he's a mega is 80. So his his defense is already where his weakest point is, aside from special attack. That's already like it's not too bad. That's not too bad, actually. <sighs> Want to see the Mega Evolution animation? This is one we're going to keep. The other two, we got to say goodbye. But that's still, like, I might use that, man. Like, I don't know. Because we're going to have to take some time to figure out which one we're using. And, like, these two, I'll move them over here because I want to have them regardless, right? Let's keep it going. That's... That's pretty good. Like, if we're going for a a tough hitter... Because the thing is, right, he's already got 150 base speed. But a nature can really be the decider. Because, like, chat, let's be honest. If he's going up against, like, an Alakazam or something that's got 130 speed... You forgot doors? No, I got doors. If he's going up against 130 speed, right... Or something that's EV train speed nature. 
He's gonna outspeed them regardless though, right? I mean, he's already one of the fastest in the game. Clean the other fossils up too. Can sell our key for later journeys. Clean fossil is good for next gen. I'll hold on to him. I don't want to do any fossil waiting right now. I'd rather just, uh, I guess we can clean them. Yeah, we can clean them. That won't take too long. We have a good option. We have a great option if we wanted to go with attack. I can figure it out later. Face cam looks good, but kind of weird. Yeah, it's all about change. Oh, that's a nice little grab right there. Uh, do we have any of the ones that we need? No. Not quite. Someone said put the door on and they'll instantly break. Yeah, it's not a thing. Unless you're talking about just doing that. But we got one. Actually, hey. Not a bad shout. Actually, that works pretty well. Oh, would you look at that? All right, we already got one. Uh, we've seen two more. And damn, you know what I'm happy about? Fossil machines really don't take that long. I thought they took a lot longer. Unless there's a ride lapras, no need. No need. Just be. Just take way too much time. We got two. Because we already have, uh, you know, Death Strider. We got to walk along the bottom of the ocean anyway, so. You know, I think we're good. We're already gone this way. Let's go this way. <gasps> Clean fossil cell for money. Good. Oh, I just realized I haven't even been checking TMs today. I gotta go check a TM once I put it in the fossil machine. So we've got, what, 21k? We can buy a TM if we need to. And TMs are gonna be really good on Aerodactyl, depending on what we can get. You know what I mean? Got like a fire punch or something. TMs can be pretty good. We just need a third one of these. We got two already. It's not too bad. I'm still like, listen, I know it's not speed. Your sound is up too high? Oh, shoot. My bad. My bad. My bad, guys. That probably hurt some ears. So I apologize. That was uh, entirely my bad for forgetting. Thank you very much. All right, we got three. Beautiful. It doesn't actually take too long. Uh, let's go check real quickly what the TMs are really fast. Fire punch on a rock bird. Sounds good. Hey, listen, we're going for type diversity here. So we're going to use it as a killer. Whatever. I don't know if we use fire punch, but whatever. <laughs> whatever move will be really good. I know earthquake's going to be a big one. Um, Calm Mind, Mega Drain, Stealth Rock. Not a lot of selection, but what does Calm Mind do again? Calm Mind, uh, raises the user, eh, raises your special attack and special defense by one stage. Not worth it. Um, well, Mega Drain, 2,500 for that. Mega Drain. Yeah, don't like it. <laughs> eh. We already have a Stone Rock or uh, Stealth Rock. I'm pretty sure. At least I'm pretty sure we do. Uh, do you have a Stealth Rock? Maybe we don't. We got Stone Edge. What's Stealth Rock again? Was this Stealth Rock the one that like? Hold on. No, I already have a Stealth Rock, don't I? Um, Andrew has one of the Pokemon targets. So I switched in. It will take damage relative to how weak. Actually, Stealth Rock was the, um... You already have Combine, do I? Stealth Rock was the one that... Will be good against, uh... Because we need some sort of... Here, let me go ahead and put the fossils in. We need some sort of, uh... Because what I learned... I think I already, men already mentioned it before. Yeah, the beginning of the stream. Yeah, with laying down spikes or a Stealth Rock or something like that to, uh... Negate... Or to pretty much be a counter against any Focus Sashes. Is it Focus Sash? No. Something sash. Maybe a focus sash. Focus ban, focus sash. I think it was focus sash or whatever the one is that prevents from getting any one shot or whatever. It's not too bad. Uh, I'll punch you off a cliff for calling Calm Mine eh. I mean, listen, I'm sure it's good on some Pokemon, but uh, I just, I don't know. All right, we got three more of these guys. Is it past the hour quite yet? Did I even get my standing for that? I got my standing hour, didn't I? Yeah, I did. All right, cool. I got my standing hour then. I actually uh, I just got LTE working on this thing, so I'm going to go for a run probably after the stream's over. Because I don't need to take my phone with me. It's so sick, man. I'm so happy. Like, Apple Watch is such a cool thing. Honestly, I know I kind of downgraded by getting the iPhone instead of an Android. But for support for the Apple Watch, it's so worth it. Oh, my God. I love this thing. Anyway, uh, option view. I could go on and on and on about how good this thing is. But let's enjoy a little bit of time, shall we? Premier Ball's ready. Oh, you're right. You're right. Uh, how do you make a Premier Ball? Do you need white? Premier Ball. Premier Ball is... What's a, what lid do you need for that? Is it white, red, and white? 
uh, for mirror ball. There's no E at the end of Premier. I always feel like there is. Premier Ball. Uh, Premier Ball is two white and one red. Yeah, white and red, I assume. Yeah, two white, one red. So we have yeah. some red, and we actually have some white. Yeah, we do have a little bit of white, which we could plant as well, too. Because we only need six. We need six for these three right now. So if we want to grab some red, let's do that real fast. Thank you. And then I believe we could actually, if we wanted to, let's go over to you. And then where is... Yeah, we have 18. And we need six. So I'll go ahead and plant 12 of these down. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Cool. And we'll cook this up really fast to get some Premier Ball. It's uh, working on the grind. Because, uh, yeah, Premier Balls would be really sick. And I'm actually... Damn, I'm really upset now thinking about it that we had such a good Aerodactyl. I didn't put it in Premier Ball. God damn it, man. Buy 10 Pokeball from a shot. Well, why? Yeah, I know. But why spend money? You know what I mean? There's no need to spend any money. You know what I'm saying? 50%. They're working. They're nearly done. All right. Uh, that's that's kind of cool. It turns like to a bluish tint, sort of. I'm pretty sure I just saw Heracross riding Houndoom. You might have been correct, and if that's the case, I need to separate them. So let me know if you see any more Tom Fool really like that. I kind of, I, I told him not to. It's a bit, a bit weird. It, it was a strange conversation. I don't want to have it again, really. All right, back up to you. I think you have some red in here. Yes, you do. All right, sweet. So two of you, and then one more. We got, oh, mix nine. Hey, let's go. All right, so five in there and four in there, and I believe we still have some more buttons. Oh, we've got plenty. Yeah, I know we got a good amount in here. I guess what I like, man, like I love. This is good. We got some more iron. We got some aluminum plates if we need. We can auto-organize that. Perfect. 71%. Awesome, man. And two Premier Ball lids and the third one, and fourth one. There we go. So, one, two, three, four. It, it's really nice having everything, like, in a line. You know what I mean? Like, doing a little bit of prep for today's episode to just kind of, like, get the materials. Made this whole thing so much nicer. All right, we got four Premier Balls. Let's go. Watch the fossils grow. Oh, without a doubt. One of them is going to be shiny, I swear to God. One of these days. This is so cool, man. Here, we'll zoom in on one. <sighs> Clean the other fossils and sell the shop while waiting for Aerodactyls. Yeah, I'll do it next time. I'll do it next time. Only a little bit freaky. Any eggs from Breeder? No. They used to pop out of the machine. Well, like, break the glass and fly around your house. That'd be so sick. 59%. The other one's going to finish before I'm, this one I'm looking at right now. Okay, cave noise. Ding. There's no ding. I mean, I guess that'd be a little bit weird if there was a ding. Uh, someone asked what the deal with Premier Balls are. Premier Balls give, like, a cool little uh, effect when you throw them. And they actually look really cool on your PC. All right. Here we go. Woo! IVs won. <laughs> if this one's the right nature, I'm going to cry. Well, I'm going to need to breathe in that case. Terrible attack and horrible speed. IVs two. <laughs> Suddenly that other aerodactyl that I got isn't looking like such a bad idea. IVs three. <laughs> Shit speed all around, boys. High attack, low special defense. Not, he's not terrible. Terrible. Gah, it's not jolly, but... And they're all male again? Oh, guys, stop being such a damn sausage fest. This guy's got speed nature, which the low defense wouldn't be too bad, but he's got eight IVs. That's not the one with zero, that's the one with eight. The only one you have is better still. Yeah. Do we go for another three or do we start? We can't breed! Shit! And Cynical's out of this. That's racist? Probably. We can't even breed. Only 12.5% are female. I have to get a ditto. Yeah, I don't have time for that. No time for dittos at all. 
Uh, let's clear up some fossils really fast though before we go. Let's see how much we can sell the shop because we can take a look at the uh, whatever we need for. Are these the helix fossils? That's what these are. Uh, yeah, helix fossil. Praise, praise, praise the helix fossils. Ooh, 12.5% female. I guess that's why they went extinct. Totally ignoring all other reasons. Alright. Hey, so we have a lot of fossils. We have a lot of fossils, actually. Let's probably check how much these are worth to see whether or not it's even worth doing this, in all honesty. Maybe it's worth, maybe it's not. I'm not sure. Watching an ad for you? Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Go and get a shiny female Aerodactyl, Pete. <laughs> speed is more worth. Go with the speed one. But, like, he'll be a killer, though. I know what you're talking about, though. Higher speed would be worth it. Because, like, even... This guy can even outspeed a Cloyster with his ability. Like, that's how stupid he is. Even though Cloyster's got, eh, Cloyster's got that high defense, you would need a, a some sort of stab and effective move against him if you were to rock it. So I don't know if anybody's going to be rocking a Cloyster again. Uh, anybody that previously used it, or if anybody uh, that didn't use it is going to try it this time around. Uh, put the Anorith in the machine. Why, is that a, uh, is that one that, uh, wait, Anorith, this one? Is that a Pokemon in Gen 3? Because otherwise I'm not doing it. I'm gonna probably sell these because like it's so easy to get them uh but i just want to see how much they're worth actually you know what i'm gonna go check in uh spawn really fast right now see how much they're worth and if it's uh, a good idea to be doing this because if this is a little money making tactic then i'm not i'm not too against it you know what i mean we'll be going for an hour right now so we're not doing too bad on time so i got a little bit longer uh how much is this uh <laughs> wow Don't mind if I do. I'm just going to sell it all. I'm just going to sell it all. I'm just going to sell it all. Because it's going to go down in price the more you... Um, it's going to go down in price the more people sell off. So I'm just going to sell. 69k? Alright. <laughs> Jeez. Alright. And then buy. What can we get? Protect. Rest. Gyro Ball. Double Edge. Dragon Breath. Snatch. Any good ones in here? Any good ones in here, guys? Gen 3 looks really cool, too. All right, we can get one if you want to. Any uh, good TMs in here that we think might be worth getting? Oh, Double Edge. Double Edge OP. Let's take a look. See what Double Edge is. Gyro Ball. Gyro Ball. Whatever. Shut up. Uh, double Edge. Uh, normal type move that causes the user to take one-third of the damage dealt as recoil. 120. Wow, that's pretty good, actually. This is pretty good. Hidden ability, shiny female, 31 IVs and speed and attack. I'm a jolly. All right, I'll probably delete my YouTube channel when that happens. Uh, should we buy a double edge? Just get on pokes with rock head ability against recoil. Ooh, I will take that then. I'm actually going to buy two. Because I'm feeling like I want to completely throw away my financial stability. Because I've realized after selling those fossils that I have none. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and uh, put these guys away here. Did I have any before? No, I don't believe that I did. All right, cool. Let's go looking around for some more fossils, shall we? Buy slash breed. Uh, slash breed got removed. And it's no longer to be used. I'm pretty certain. Because slash breed was OP. And it shouldn't have been in here from the beginning in a competitive scene. It was fine for the first season. Not for this season. Not for this season at all. Uh, but let's go and look around for some more fossils. Uh, and then I guess we're going to probably... I'm going to do six more. So like I'll find... I'll do the same thing twice more. Like a whole process. And if I can find a good one then... Great. If not, I think we might have to go with the... I mean, I'm not sure. Look commands. Protect for your ninja desk if you want. Can I use it once again? Alright, sweet, sweet. Glad you can. You can choose uh, Gyro Ball. What is that? I don't... Well, that just happened. I'm sorry that I uh, invaded your homeland. <laughs> my apologies, Mine Chef. That's my bad. Making sure if there's any in here that we need. Because I could, I could technically get three Aerodactyl... Uh, fossils off of one go, which would be pretty sweet. I think we've actually gone to that mine shaft before, I believe. Because there's a really... Hey, there we go. 
Uh, there's a really good ravine underneath where I live. It's really good. That's where I got the uh, a good amount of the bauxite from that we needed for the aluminum, which is pretty good. And we already got three. All right. I'm not. The, I don't make the game. I just play by the rules. It's just you know, it's easy game. Sometimes. All right. We got three more and we're good. Ugh. Hydrating in the ocean, exactly. So why do you guys say it like chat's dead? This is what I don't understand. Chat's moving at like one message every few seconds. That's a pretty good, like, we're all paying attention to the episode. There's not always something to talk about. Y'all are too privileged, man. Y'all go to like, y'all watch Summit too much, right? Go to a 30k, 40k viewer stream, freaking Shroud or something, Lyric. You're like, damn, this chat's nice. Come to my stream. Oh, this chat's dead. Hey, Pete, rip your dreams, man. And I'm like, guys, not everybody needs to be talking all the damn time, all right? People will get annoyed of each other, and then people wouldn't even come here, okay? Having a dead chat sometimes is fine, all right? Like, good lord. Chat's really nicely paced right now. That's the thing. I can read it. It doesn't need to be fast. If it's all constructive comments, we're all just having a good time. You know what a dead chat is? I don't know, because I've never seen one. I went looking for a dead chat. Couldn't find one. I don't know what you're talking about, honestly. I don't know what you're talking about. All right, we need to go ahead and go back there, and uh, let's cover up some more fossils and get some more cash, shall we? Options, video settings. It's already at 100. Never mind, we're good. Where's the drum when you need it? But, um. Mic dropped? If my mic dropped, I'd be very concerned. This is the, this is the, this is the mic I can't drop. But seriously, 2,000 for each of these? Has anybody else on the server figured this out? Because this is like patch worthy. I know fighting, fighting trainers, but at least I required effort. This is like, oof, I don't know, man. We don't want to go too fast. You wouldn't even see what we're trying to communicate. Exactly. Thank you. Constructive comments, man. That's what I love. People don't understand, like, you don't need 3,000 people in a Twitch stream to have a good chat. You could have 300 people watching. You could have 100 people watching, and it could still be a good, productive, nice chat. Because really, like, the thing is, right, Twitch streamers, we don't look for fast chats. You know what I mean? Some of us maybe do. Some of us probably get off to the idea of five messages per second. Well, that's, you know what? Hey, it's a good thing, right? But at the same time, right, like a good point of streaming, especially Pixel One, which requires a lot of thought. As long as we got a chat that's talking to us and we can talk back and enjoys our presence and I, you know, recognize some names and we build a family. That's all I freaking need, man. Remember the 3K days, H4M? Yeah. Remember the 8K days? Back two years ago? That was, I still can't get over that idea. Back when I had a little Spotify logo in the top left-hand corner, it said Command Spotify for Link, and I had a little uh, Spotify, like what I was playing in the bottom left, a little Pete's live stream image. Before face cam, before anything, terrible, can't, terrible microphone, terrible bitrate, terrible quality stream. 8,600 people, I think is my highest. Or is 8,200, 8,300, one of those. It's insane, man. The same, because that was before Minecraft was really, like, really saturated, and there was a lot of names to it. That was still when it was fairly new. It's weird to think, like, I've been around for a while. You know what I mean? Five years is, you know, it's not the longest time, but, like, to think that I've been doing YouTube for five years, I've seen a couple generations of YouTube go by. I've seen the really innocent years go by. I've seen the time where, you know, titles were not all in caps, which I don't think there's anything wrong with all caps titles. I think they look good. Because I don't think, I think sometimes, uh, like, properly uh, capitalized titles don't look good, in my opinion. Uh, and I think if you do all, t uh, like, if you do all caps titles, then doing a no caps title actually makes it stand out a little bit more, which I think is really cool. Premier Balls? All right. I don't miss it. It's just cool to have been around for so long, and I really would not have tried this, anything of this in the world. It's a, it's a really cool experience, YouTube is. It's really cool. And we also, I just realized, made enough Premier Balls for exactly how many I want to do in this. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, six of these, 98%. And ding, ding, ding. Ding, ding, ding. One, two, three. 
I gotta put these guys back in the PC before they go directly into my PC. So, I don't think any of these were that good. That notable. One of them was the speed nature, but it wasn't... Nah, the attack one would still be better than the speed nature, honestly. I think so. <sighs> but my soul, you won't read this, Pete? I mean, there you go. Pete, remember you trying to catch Lugia? Do I? Maybe I do. One, two, three. Sausage Fest still going on. Ain't no breeding happening today, boys. <laughs> Anything else? No, okay, we got all our fossils. Uh, all right. IVs won. <laughs> IVs two. shit ivy's three it's actually a pretty good folk 12 speed though but all right naughty's not too bad that's terrible and ah oh, they all suck ass oh all right was this the one that had the speed nature yeah i'll keep this one over here just in case just in case, I'll keep it over there. These are all ter- All three of these are terrible. They're all terrible. Those are all terrible. Is this a prank? They're all terrible. Every one of them. All right, grab these two around from here. We got three more to go. Let me go ahead and go back over to spawn, sell some of these off, and get some good cash. I don't think there's been a reset on the TMs quite yet. God damn it, man. Round three. Ooh. Round four, actually. Round four. Check the old Amber's price feet. Why would I, though? It's all 2,000. Holy crap. 10K. 16K. 12K. And 22K. We have 100K. Well, that was nice. Master Roll Loot at negative 2,800, negative 389. I'm going to screenshot that. Thank you very much for the info. I appreciate you. I need to change that to a room. All right. We still got some more opportunities that may arise out of this. And we'll see. What the hell? Oh, I remember that thing. It's weird. And we'll see whether or not we can find a good one. Where's the fossil so we can get started? There it is. First of one million, I promise you. You glad I told you to sell them? Yeah, Dearthquake. Thank you. If you were the one, and if you're not, then I mean, hey, thanks to whoever did it. I appreciate you, man. Much love. Yeah, they're, uh, that's a nice, that's a nice bet of, uh, of cash there. It's okay, Frost will sell all the things. Exactly. Exactly. Even though you'd think, because I'm an admin on here, I should be telling myself not to. But it's fair game. It's fair game. And we got two fossils already. You know what, man? We've been getting pretty lucky with the, uh, now I say this in moderation here. I might just, if I can grab, okay, so... Might want to grab more than three. I don't know. Just like to prevent. We got four now. All right. Well, I got four this time. I'm an abuse. Nah. Maybe day one deals. Possibly. I'm not sure. <sighs> Every time I think about day one deals, I go back to how angry Mitch got when the ultra ball prices decreased on him. What a day that was. All right. Day in the life. Let's go back home and get these boys working up, all right? We start in a farm! I'm really upset that we still have not found a... Because statistically, we should have at least found one female. But to no avail, unfortunately. Ears, volumes? Shoulder. Oh, my bad. Uh, music sounds... I keep forgetting. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I thought you guys were talking about my microphone. I'm saying, I'm like, wait a second. Is my compressor not working properly? It should be working fine. You guys should hear a, a good volume the entire way around. You know what's going to be interesting? Real talk for a second, okay? I got to go put these things up. I'm pretty sure they're already done. Yeah, there we go. You know what's going to be interesting? Because Kara and I, we've, her and I have understood for a while. And I think you guys may have been able to see it. I don't want to make a video on it or talk about it too much. Because, like, it's more excuses, really. But, like, I think owning a house. Because we, we live in a big house as well, too. Way too big. 
I've realized very quickly that living in a big house is like, oh, we have a lot of space now. Ha, <laughs> that's not a good thing. Smaller space for two people and a dog is not a bad idea because the bigger space, yes, you can put more things in there, but more clutter and more places to clean and more shit you got to take care of. A big house is not fun. And I think, honestly, living in a, a bigger house um, has kind of put a lot of stress on us. The only, uh, one of the biggest upsides, and the reason I'm talking about this right now, is in a bigger house, you have a lot of privacy. And the sense of privacy in the sense of, like, right now, my office is not surrounded by any homes. The only thing it's surrounded by is bedrooms over there. Downstairs, the garage. Upstairs, the kitchen. To the left of me is a backyard for another home far away. To the right side of me is a parking garage. And I guess the, the bathroom, but still a parking garage. Like, I can scream the loudest I want to in this thing. And nobody would hear me. Because the reason why... One of the reasons why I left my old apartment, aside from the fact that it leaked twice, is um, we got noise complaints the first second a tenant moved in below us. Which we were told would not happen. We were told that the place was sound. And granted, it was our fault for believing the idiots that told us that. I was saying, literally, we do work that involves a lot of volume here. Please give us a an apartment that will not transmit noise. And we tested it. We thought it was fine. But no, one night, the first night they moved in, I was recording at 2 a.m. an ARC episode for Arcanine. And guess who got a noise complaint saying, uh, a loud TV. So we got out of there because I realized, oh, shit, well, I'm not going to be able to do my work here. With that being said, the idea of a house still seems a little bit... Because we are going to be moving from this place. LA is becoming a bit too expensive, and we just don't want to live in this house anymore. We're going to move all we can to a cheaper place, smaller place. You know, try it out for a little while. Uh, just get out of here for a change of pace, really. Because we need a breather from it. It's just... It's not good for uh, our age. And just... We, we still haven't gotten our shit together. Especially with Bellamy in the picture now. We're not, we're not really fit to be able to take care of this house all that well. Uh, but we're thinking of possibly getting a townhouse... Because even though there's shared walls in a townhome, it's not as invasive as an apartment where you have to worry about all sides of you. But I was thinking about, like, how when I move out, I might have to naturally be more quiet if I'm going to be recording later in the day or even just in general. Because, I don't know, like, right now I can scream as loud as I want to and I record. And I don't really need to anymore because I've got the... Um, I have the compressor on, so I can talk at just this normal volume right now. I don't need to scream this loud to be able to commentate, right? I can talk like this, and this is perfectly fine. Like, you guys can hear me really well. Um, but it's going to be interesting, because if I do get anything with shared walls and not a house, which it looks like we might do, plus townhomes, they're cheaper. They're much cheaper, because you don't own property. You own the house, but you don't own, like, uh, you don't own the backyard. You don't own the front yard. You don't have to manage, like, all that shit or whatever, and you don't own the entire thing, so it's a lot easier to rent out. A lot cheaper, and you can get a lot nicer of a townhouse. Meanwhile, like, the same price of a townhouse, you can get a really nice one compared to a really crappy house because it's a house. So it'll be weird when uh, February comes around when my lease ends to uh, possibly have to train my voice to be quieter. Uh, or train myself to be quieter. I don't know. Just an interesting thought, I guess. Uh, and I am planning on doing a house tour probably when we move out of this place or sometime sooner. Uh, I know I've been really lazy with house tours, but I never really did an apartment tour until uh, when I moved into this one. So maybe it might be the same thing. I don't know. Is that for one guy to donate more? He's already paid quite a bit of rent, I'll be honest. <laughs> he already has. Alright, Premier Ball, Premier Ball, and Premier Ball. It's all a sausage fest. It's all a sausage fest. Alright. IV's one. I have to be breeding the exact same Pokemon. Like, it has to be this... This fossil machine has to breed no speed. Or something. This one has to be it, the, the problem. It has to be them. It's got to be the location of them or something. Ivy's two. That's the boy. Ivy's three. That's okay. We're going for two. Okay.
shoulder. Oh. But we have one more. This is the one. This is the one. This is the one. This will be the one. This will be the one that I need. At breeding time, I'll wait. They're all male. Pizza blesses are go already going down in chat. Y'all know what to do. Y'all already know what to do. Watch it be trash but female. This is going to be the female. It wanted some private time. You know what I mean? It didn't, it didn't like... It didn't like being surrounded. I just want to do its own thing, you know what I mean? ASMR is hot. Can you guys even hear that? I think a DS are kind of prevents it from you guys even hearing it. You can't even really hear that, can you? You can hear it slightly, but... I love my setup. It's so good. You can hardly even hear that, man. It's so good. Oh, I love my setup. It's so good. Ah, love it. Love it. Love it so much. Ask others if they, if they have a speed nature ditto. Ditto. Nah, I'm okay. I'm going to figure it out on my own, I think. No more premiere. We got to get a premiere ball right now. It's okay because I planted these for a reason. Why are you taking so long to grow? Damn little stump. All right, we got eight more. Wait, nah, I don't want to plant anymore. We're good for right now. When do you switch Pichu? What Pichu? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Wait, what? Hello? <laughs> don't talk about it. Just gotta sit down. That was, that's... I've had a long day. <laughs> I've had a long day. I'm oh, good. I'm oh, just gonna chill. Oh. Giggity. Check for shinies in the meantime. That about shout. Let me make sure these guys are good though. Cool. Any shinies up here? While we wait. What's going down? We got anything? Oh, Pichu's gonna fall. That ear is so freaking long. Any shines up here? We really have a lot, actually. Damn, not a lot of Pokemon spawns. What's the deal? There's so many just like holes in the 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 land around us right now. It's funny. Yep. Nope. All right. Maybe there are like a couple, but I think I don't think there's any right now. Check TMs. Yeah, checking TMs would uh, prevent this from finishing. The singular premiere ball. It's a male. <sighs> Not everything can be perfect. Ivy's one. Bless you. Turn to cool. <laughs> That's all, folks. You think we're stopping? I'm not stopping. I still got half an hour. Going off the rails on. 
crazy trend. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. It really is like when you think about it. It's kind of funny how we were given a really good Aerodactyl at the start of this. Like the attack based one. Full attack. Attack nature. Well, that's a really good one. I can't overlook that. But what we're asking for really is difficult. Like, we've already gotten a speed nature. Granted, it's not jolly. But to ask for a speed nature with... Ears? Thank you. To ask for a speed nature... With good IVs? Eh, it's... You know, and decent attack at least. But Ella wouldn't really matter too much. Volume rip? Yeah, my bad. The benefit is, at least, that, um, the benefit is we're making fat stacks while doing this. Because the longer we take to do this, and the more fossils we have to mine up, the more cash we make. So, in all honesty, it's not a bad trade-off. Because, in, in the sense that we're not getting what we want, we also get, uh, financial stability. Which is nice. So it's kind of like, you know... I'm not mentally stable or emotionally stable, but I'm financially stable, which, you know, helps a little bit. Financial stability equals freedom. So, you know, and the more cash, the more TMs. So I become more powerful. Money creates power. Money breeds power. You heard it here first. All right. We still only got one. These are obviously uh, the rarer of the bunch. At least it would, I would assume, uh, given everything right now. We got two. All right. Not too bad. Not too bad. Wait until we get a third. Okay. I'm trying to make sure that I don't stand, uh, kind of like stand in between, like stand right here, and then let it just kind of get into my inventory instead of me having to. I'm I'm learning how to very, uh, very quickly and efficiently harvest fossils. It's a good tactic. You know what I mean? Do you want to call it RGA or Lake? I could. I definitely could. We already got three. So I'm gonna go for this one. It's gonna be another one. Yeah, there you go. You can't script it. All right. Uh, let's go and check in at spawn and see what TMs we have for sale. Uh, PS, I'll bang it down. What do we got? All right. Ooh, these are some different ones. Uh, return low sweep, bulldoze, incinerate, uh, steel wing, rock smash. Chat. What are we thinking? Any good ones over here? Call RGA just because Mike friends. Yeah, that's true. Bulldoze is great. Twenty five hundred for it. Only twenty five hundred for bulldoze. What's bulldoze do? Bulldoze. Let me see. Bulldoze is a ground type move that lowers the target speed by one stage. Ooh, that's not too bad. That's actually pretty good. I'm gonna buy uh four of those. <laughs> I'm the worst. Uh, and then. Uh, incinerate. What does incinerate do? Isn't incinerate the one that just burns the target? Uh, incinerate. Incinerate. Uh, is damaging fire type move. The target's holding a berry. Incinerate burns up the berry and renders it unusable. Oh, so it's atta to attack other berry. Uh, it's, it's okay. Return is great. Let's see what return is. I think I already know what return is. Yeah, I've already looked it up. Uh, movie gets stronger the higher the user's happiness is. The base power is calculated with the formula happiness over 2.5, having a maximum power of 102. So it's like a, it's a physical attacker. Eh, it's okay. Eh, I can't really see my... Hidden power, I think, is also decent, isn't it, too? Hidden power. Uh, hidden power is a special normal type. Uh, it's a damaging move that can be any type except normal and fairy. Type is based on the IVs of the user. Uh, it's determined with the following formula. Ugh. All right, number, whatever. I think we're okay for the most part. Low sweep's good. Did I already check out low sweep? What was the low sweep again? Oh, yeah, I never looked that one up. Let me see here. Uh, low sweep. Wait, did I look this one up? I think so. The fighting time move lowers the target speed by one stage. Ooh, that was pretty good, too. Low sweep's for another, like, it's it's the exact same thing as Bulldoze. Five, two of those. All right, sure, why not? All right, cool. Uh, let's go over to home. Dude, buying TMs like it's nothing. Give me a good TM, and I got you. All right, cover fossil. We got four more of these guys. So we're going to have that oddball one again. And we're going to need to make a, uh, a few more. Uh, let's go. 
Music and sounds. I can never get music and sounds on the first go. So we'll make up a few more premiere balls really fast here. We already got the lids uh, set up for that. So we can make 11 more, which is always beautiful. All right, cool. Man, you know what? It's ever, you know what it might be? You know what it might be? We not, we did not get a good Pokemon since we started using Premier Balls. That might be it. Cloister. That might be it. Crobat OP return. Ooh, actually. Because is it a phys it's a physical, isn't it? It's a normal type. Crobat. So it wouldn't be good for stab moves though, but that could replace like poison. Ooh, actually, yeah, return on a Crobat might be really good. Nice. Friend balls instead. You guys know me. I've already stuck to one thing. I'm gonna make this work. I'm gonna make the uh, I'm gonna make the premier balls work. I also need to patch that hole in the floor. Honestly, uh, it's one, two, three, four, and we'll get another one, two, three of you. Perfect. All right, and we got one more to spare. Let's go ahead and get some uh, covered fossils. Defossilize or polish them up a little bit. Get them more fossilized. Try a quick ball then. Luxury balls. Do friend balls affect happiness with a fossil? That's just a good question. Do they? Do you guys know if friend balls affect fossils? I can't imagine why they would or wouldn't. It's not a bad idea. They do. The first machine to give zero speed. They do. They should. Why don't you use far more fossils while the fossil machine's working? Because I'm polishing the fossils. Uh, so sell them for a little bit more. It's indirectly getting me more money. Or directly getting me more money, I should say. Uh, Red Sox Shiny Aerodactyl looks like if Crobat could evolve. Oh, yeah, really? Yo, if we got a Shiny Aerodactyl, Shiny Mega Aerodactyl, I would cry. The one in the fossil sparks more? Which one? Now, they're all sparkling pretty pretty evenly, I'd say. This one looks like it's doing a little bit more, I'd say. But I think it just might be the uh, particles from this one bleeding off a little bit. That's what I'm thinking, at least. I'd say this has been a pretty good episode so far, man. Like, it's been... We might not have gotten exactly what we want right now, but it's been very productive. It's been pretty damn productive. I would say. A little hydration break. <sighs> Look up our Maldo. Trust me, he's good. Oh, inventory's full. Whoop. There we go. I love it. It alerts you so quickly. All right, still 46%. Yeah, this is actually really nice. Like, going around... This is a really good meta for doing this. Covered fossils, and then we have the uh, Pokeball machine right here. This is a really good setup. I like where I live. I really do. I like how I've kind of designed it all up, how it's, you know, really nice around here with the different platforms, chests, furnaces, trading machine. Uh, still don't know what I'm going to put up there, in all honesty. Don't really know. I, mean, I guess that would be for, like, PCs, maybe? I'm not sure. I almost just clicked that. Well, I did click that. Didn't do anything, though, thankfully. So we're not too bad. Can you tell us what your final team's gonna be? Uh, I don't actually know what my final team's gonna be. I know that I want Aerodactyl, Mega Aerodactyl, but uh, that's about it for right now. Well, no, I, I know a few more. Uh, Crobat, we're gonna be keeping in because I got a, a Speed Nature Crobat. So we're gonna be rocking Crobat again. I just need to retrain him up back to uh, 100 friendliness or 220 friendliness. So that's gonna be a real pain in the ass. And then, um, I am going to be getting Metagross, I think, and probably putting some different moves on it, like ones that aren't, uh, his natural stab types, just for diversity, I would say. There was another few that I, uh, said I was going to get as well, too. Nidjask is also a good idea, but there's one that, uh, there's one Pokemon, I forgot what the name of it was, that's, uh, what does it do? I'm going to go check the TMs. No, I think we already checked the TMs, I'm just going to sell. Um, there's one Pokemon that can, like, give oh yeah gardevoir is another one we already yeah I've, I've got an idea for for the most part guys uh but gardevoir is going to be one that we also rock as well too because gardevoir is awesome uh seven more of these thank you very much and okay 12k off you and 20k off you and the old amber is only worth uh 2000 we're not gonna oh, we're gonna sell it holy crud we have 140k yeah i'll ever hurt is this chunk loaded? Is this chunk loaded in spawn? But wait a minute, is this a chunk division right here? 
Oh my god, it is. This chunk is loaded in spawn, and these aren't. <laughs> That's so good. That's actually great. That's fantastic. This is a different chunk right here than this one, and this one's loaded in spawn. We gotta figure that out. Like, we gotta do something with that. I right. Reason for mirror balls again. Because on the day that I do get one, I want to have that juicy premier ball. All right, one, two. I'm freaking anxious right now. And you know what? We're going to get the uh, other fossil working up right now on the one that's working at the moment. <sighs> oh, I'm not ready for this. We have a female! We got a female, actually! Yes! Boom! Stoked about that. And Kara just messes me. Alright, Virgin, calm down. Alright. Ivy's one. It real Really is that machine. Ivy's two. Good attack, terrible speed. What's the IVs? This is the big one. Ah! It doesn't really matter, because, like, breeding would still give you decent results, because, like, it could still be okay. 20 and zero attack, though. <sighs> the last one's really all we're looking for right now. High attack, low special defense. And the female. And it's enormous. High attack, low special defense. No speed nature. What biome do I need to go to to breed Aerodactyls? What biome would they work with? What biome would they work with? Because I probably want to put the Everstone on the, uh, the speed one that we got. Whatever that one is. How big is your good male one? Let's take a look. Wasn't it, uh, there's a speed one here, right? Hold on, let me put the other two away. So we don't need these two. This is the one we're working with right here. Um, it was these two. So this one, that's a high attack. That's a small. And this one as well, too, is a huge. That's the hasty. So we did breed these two together. We, we would probably want to breed these three together right here. Cause this one's already as is really good ivs one and ivs three so we could get for example 18 attack ivs 23 speed extreme hills or desert i like those enormous females jesus christ giant waffle can't knock you for an opinion So, these are the three we're kind of working with right now. Okay. Just trying to figure out how this is going to work. So, we got, the we got the female here. And then we have this one. These are the two we could breed. And then we also have the high attacker. Okay. I'm going to rename this one just so I know. He attack. So, he attack. There we go. Keep your hopes up for the last one. I have to, right? It's coming up. It's coming up. Move the uh, two other ones into the chunk so you can grind fossils and they can do their thing. Well, I can already grind fossils as well. Because I don't need to be at spawn to grind fossils. They're still going to be working while I'm looking for fossils if I want to. A-T-T-A-C? Yeah, whatever. Good enough, alright. Ginormous shiny mega. <laughs> <laughs> We're living in a world, man. It's the second I get a shiny dragon out. Everybody's like, hey, go do this now. Everything's coming up Millhouse. All right. Ding. It's another male. Ivy's one. <laughs> it's another enormous, but that's a terrible Pokemon. Still got a little bit more time till the two hour mark. Let's go again. Let's go again. I'm really, really tempted to rock that attack one. Mochi core. 
Magic card. I'm ri My boy! What are you doing on this beautiful fine day? Well, hello there! Don't you mind if I do? Yes, please! Oh, baby! Oh, I thought I was, I was so ready to... I was so ready. Well, like I said, do not mind if I do. You with your damn big hitbox? Where the hell am I supposed to hit you at? Right there in the middle? No, not right there in the middle. How about right here from this angle? No, doesn't even like it through the butt. Good lord. Where is your hitbox? Underneath you? Well, this isn't going to work out well, is it? Where the hell is your hitbox? Probably F3 and B. Oh, it's right there. That doesn't work. Okay, his hitbox is a little bit too big. Good lord, he's majestic. All right, we got it. This quick ball doesn't work. I'm just going to level Ooh. ball until he dies or something right now. <sighs> Step away from the butt. The side of whale represents uh, all the pay-to-win whales. What? Hey, let's go. Can I ride on whaler? Dude, freaking hell. Oh, 56 that trucker is. It's insane. Now, granted, we can still get the ginormous one because uh, we have the two enormous um, of his other, of his, uh, whatever the... Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. IVs one. 47%. Good attack. Stats. Full attacker. Actually, 30 attack IVs and attack nature. Can we use Waylord for anything? Like, is that a thing? Like, is that actually... Sure. Is that usable? HP IVs, though? Zero. <laughs> and Lord, what's with us getting terrible IV trades in, like, one or two areas? Waylord's a special attack poke. Oh, is he? Oh, no, is he? Oh, he really is. Damn. I already got one. It's unfortunate. Keep standing. All right, so I got standing. What's? I am standing. Watch. You don't know that though. Maybe you do. You're just telling me to keep standing. Ride him. RGA will use an enormous one. Knowing RGA with the Ursa ring though, probably would. There you got two. This has been kind of fun though. Like honestly, it's a it's a nice change of pace. Like you don't need Pokeballs, you know, to actually capture Pokemon. Like, fossil hunting is actually really cool. I had never really tried it before because I didn't think it was that interesting. Or that I would really need any of the fossil Pokemon. But, like, it's pretty fun, man. It really is. And also doing this strat right here. We just got three from one. We just got three from... All right, we got to get a sixth one then. Well, that's an old baby, a triple. End stream, thanks. I will soon. Patience, young one. Damn, all right. So we got six now. That was really fast, good lord. Does XP share also raise happiness as it shares EVs? If yes, you can use it for Crobat. I don't think so. No, uh, XP share doesn't raise EVs, or uh, it doesn't raise EVs. It doesn't raise happiness, I don't believe. At least if it did, I would have assumed that that's what people would have already done. But no, I don't believe it does. I could be wrong in, in saying that, though. Uh, I could be wrong in saying that. Also, did I break everybody's ears again? I might have. Where the fossils go? Oh, they're right here. Are my uh, music and sounds... Yep. Sorry, my bad. Nobody yelled out that the ears were breaking. I think everybody's ears already broke. That's probably why. Ugh! And you're done. Right now, three, two, one. Damn. Wanted to be perfect right on there. Isn't there a colossal size? Uh, is there? Colossal sounds kind of cool. Uh, I believe it's enormous, and then you can breed to get a ginormous. What it would be. I think it's ginormous, not gigantic. I think it's ginormous. Right from there. Ride the blimp Waylord. Let's go ahead and see, actually. Can you ride Waylord? Let's find out. Dude, I'm so, so glad I found one of these guys just in the wild. How rare are their spawns? That'd be pretty damn rare, I would say. 
I mean, they're not like, you know, Dragonite level rare. And it's, oh my god. Can you? Oh my god. I forgot you can do this. Pull up to the club, like, what up? I got a big whale. Dude, this is so sick. He's actually pretty fast, too. And the jumping, oh my god, I love it. Dude, yes! Alright, if all else fails today, we got this bad boy. And that's sweet. I'm so stoked right now. Gendry is my favorite, just for this boy right here. Go to spawn? Nah, nobody's at spawn, though. Nah. Dude, this is so freaking cool, man. Oh my lord. Yo, I gotta go up to, uh, or I gotta find a plains biome and just, like, like, just sit underneath Lake's house. Then just stay there for half an hour or something. You can see it on, like, last season. Could I not see it? Oh, yeah, I forgot. Right, because they had you seated, like, uh, seated. I'm tired. They had you seated lower, um, or positioned lower. In the whale, so you couldn't even see out through F5. Damn, man. All right. Sweet. And I love the noise that he gives, too. It's like... If you ever find a shiny whale lord, I'm going to make that a thing. I'm going to try and find a shiny whale lord this season. I mean, I can say try and find. You can't really control whether or not you find one, but damn, that'd be so cool if we could. Are you thinking of Sceptile? Uh, I think Sceptile was one of the ones that I was thinking of right now. Show Lake. You can see underwater now. Yeah. It's also not a bad shot. If you uh, ride on a Pokemon, you can see underwater. Lapras is the same thing. It's actually pretty cool. Uh, leave him in front of the door when good TMs are sold. It's war. <laughs> You're not wrong. Dude. I'm going to go check for TMs. And just like, what if I just AFK'd there in like an AFK pool and just left my Wailord out? Someone would have to, like have to challenge me to a battle and somehow win. That'd be sweet, man. Oh. Pink Willard, is it pink for shiny? That's cool. All right, this is gonna be our last six and then we're done. Cause we're already, we're at about the two hour mark and then we're good. Ugh. We're at about two hour mark and then we're gonna go ahead and we'll be good. Video settings, music and sounds. Oh yeah, I need to be walking around. All right, is past the hour? Nope. We all live in gigantic weather, gigantic weather, gigantic weather. We all live in a gigantic weather, gigantic weather, gigantic weather. It's another Beatles song. Because I'm the weather, hey, I'm the weather. I don't know the rest of the lyrics. Cause I'm a tax man. Bang, bang, well, for silver hammer came down upon your head. Ding, 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 ding. All right. Here we go. I got to put Whale Lord away. It's been a fun time. We are definitely keeping you. I'm going to have to organize my inventory a little bit better. Why is he walking back and forth? Uh, old face cam setup looks nicer. All right, chat. Yeah, I don't like change. I get it. Freaking Peach is just face planted right now. Um, I'm walking back and forth because my watch is telling me to. I'm just kind of joking around with it. I get enough exercise as it is for the watch to be get content, but it's like, no, it, I need more. <sighs> I get anxiety, man. I get anxiety from this. Oh. All male. Still. IVs, one. It really is this goddamn machine. It really is. Ivy's two. That's actually not a bad one. It's not great though. Could use more defense. Uh, but special defense is actually pretty nice. Speed's kind of okay. Ivy's three. They're all terrible speed. gonna be some breeding party you're not wrong
Last six, otherwise we're done. Last six and we're done. And we'll figure it out after that. Because honestly, like... You guys can leave your thoughts on whether or not I should just go with the high attacker and deal with... Because he had decent speed as well, I'm pretty sure. And just EV train him in speed and there, because he's already going to outspeed the majority of everything. You guys can let me know. Because I think dealing damage might have to be the, the better thing that we go for. Especially with his nature. Physical moves deal 1.3 times. Yeah, so let me know whether or not it would be a good idea. Because again, you know... Good lord. What's up, Elden Zero? Good to see you, man. You need Jolly or it can be outspelled with Choice Scarf. Who has a Choice Scarf in the game? Or in here? Who has a Choice Scarf? Save one Claw Fossil? Yeah, I'll get more later. Kind of just going for cash right now. Because we might as well break the bank at the same time doing this. To kind of, you know, soften our woes a little bit. Who has a Choice Scarf on, uh, scarf on here? Speedy inside, I have several. How? Good lord. I mean, there are two people combined into one like shared economy pretty much it's kind of how it works you know what i mean mm. i guess that makes sense huh throw out your pokemon with highest happy stats for some lucky vibes <laughs> what do you mean lucky vibes 57 percent man come on we're just looking for that one more the last one, we're at the two hour mark. We're ending it after this, whether we like it or not. Can you breed with Crobat, same breeding group? Can we? Anyone have a PC and can TP? Uh... I can in a sec. Lake needs some help, and I will be there for assistance in just a moment. I'm at 73% right now, and then we gotta go help our boy Lake. I assume we found, like, a move reloader or something right now. Good lord. Oh. That's why Metagross would be in the team to counter the Ice-type. So I was thinking, man, Metagross would still be good, but different moves, though. Because, again, I don't want all fast Pokemon. Because if someone uses Trick Room somehow on my Aerodactyl, oh, consider me screwed. I probably want to start with Aerodactyl. Like, would it be a good idea to start with my Mega? Because I feel like this tournament we're going to be doing choice. Like, you'll actually be able to start with the one that you want. Because that's how Lachlan did it, primarily. And I think that works out better. Because I think it takes away RNG and it fully depends on how well your, your plan is for everything. I feel like that would be a good idea. It's on to S7. 97. Thank you very much for the $5 reset for three months in a row. Enjoy the new badge. Hey, baby. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. <sighs> Last three of a day. And then we either call it a success or we call it a wrap. We got another female. That's a good ending. I like that. That's a good ending. I like that. All right. So we got two now. That's great. Hopefully this will have a little bit better IVs. Pizza bus for this. If As long as the female has decent IVs, it'll be okay. Everything will be okay. Everything will be fine. Everything will be fine. Everything will be fine. IVs won. 21 speed IVs. 74% full HP. IVs two. Caught him. Horrible. I wish that was a female so badly. But that's okay. IVs, three. Okay. Not great. But it's okay. So the second one is what we're looking at. Wait, no. Was it the first one? No, it was the first one, actually. First one. Oh, it was almost so 
good. I was looking at speed. I wasn't looking above. Oh. God. That one hurts. We got anatomate. The female's anatomate. The female is an adamant nature. I saw what I saw what happened with like Gigi on Gigi on like. Gigi's on like. <sighs> what are we dealing with right now? Freaking IVs of this one, 21 speed. I mean, granted, his attack is already going to be terrible. His HP was great. I need to figure this out. All right. I need to figure this out exactly how this is going to work. Because breeding is going to be a thing that we need to do. We're going to need to breed. We have the need to breed. Breed the male in slot one with a female in slot three. Uh... You can place certain blocks under the ranch block instead of going to a biome, by the way. Can you really? Is that true? For that female with a good one you got at the start, the he attack. That's if we want to completely give up speed. And just go with attacking. What do you like for breeding? Can you? That's so good. Alright, so what block would we need to put under? Stone? Probably want to put stone under it, right? That's pretty cool. It seems blocks from the biome. So it need to be in a 5x5. Five five. Or, uh, sorry, no, a 9x9. Nine nine. Sorry. 5 radius. 9x9. Uh, nine nine. I'd say this is a partial success because we've gotten a couple pretty good ones. We just need to... We had an, we have an adamant. We don't have a jolly, though. I wish we had a jolly so badly. If we had a jolly, it's all be so good. <sighs> TB delay, he's in, he doesn't need it, he said. You have an Everstone to breed for nature? Uh, yeah, I have an Everstone somewhere. Pretty easy to make as well, too. Lake doesn't need any help. He said, never mind. Uh, probably want speed, though, over attack. Honestly, is the thing. What was the other one that we got? Did we have... We didn't have another speed aside from... Yeah, because timid. Man, it's so unfortunate. I hear there's talk of H5M. Insight? Uh, we're planning on H5M after Pixelmon. I don't know when after Pixelmon. Because I don't know how long Pixelmon's going to last. It pretty much will last as long as we have people playing. Uh, not really something that can go on with three people. But, um, yeah, h 5 is going to be a thing. But still not confirmed. Because, you know, we haven't actually started setting it up or anything. We haven't confirmed players for it. That's that's when it's a confirmation. But for right now, uh, yeah, it's desirable. We, we want to do it. There you go. We want to do it. Um, and it should be a little bit more like H2M. I think we've all learned for the most part. What's the bracelet thing on your character and you're such an inspiration? Thank you very much for the, uh, Twitch Prime reset, my performance in a row. That's the, um, the keystone that I have around my wrist. So anyways, we're going to go ahead and end it off there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode. Let me know what you think. I'll probably have figured it out by the time this video goes live. Uh, double level today. Woo! I'll have to figure this out for right now. Should be good. Make it SD now for breeding. We'll figure it out. I'm not breeding off camera though, because that's, that's, no. No, breeding off camera, uh, I already dug it like a little bit for doing that because you're not supposed to be, uh, breeding, uh, or anything like that. Or I don't know if anybody has been, but yeah, no, I, I if you set up a breeder and it just runs in the background, like that's fine, but you can't log on to keep breeding and then hatch eggs, etc. cetera, uh, from there, but I'll see. Cause otherwise the adamant nature is really nice, but I might just rock the one that I had before that had a full light attack IV already. I'll figure it out. It, we'll see. Because we are still, remember, we're on time crunch. Because after this, we have how many more episodes? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have nine more episodes. Which is, you know, we could dedicate one more full episode to getting this guy. We could. We could still probably do another fossil session. I don't know if we will. We'll see. Anyways, love you all. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. And we will catch you all back next time.